In this video, we'll be undertaking some three phase supply rotation checks on this temporary cable. The temporary cable is installed from the site construction supply, fed from these Blakely boards. The supply was installed to provide temporary power to the substation. We've been asked to check it to clear it before the air conditioning engineers come in and connect their units to it. Firstly, we proceed to the panel where the temporary supply terminates. The supply comes into the top of this connection block. The permanent feeder cable is not yet installed. As you can see, L1 phase is connected on the left hand side, followed by L2, L3 and the neutral. The earth is connected to the main earth bar. As this installation is still ongoing, firstly we have to check the effectiveness of the earthing system. We use this Hemi Geo30 ground loop tester, first conducting a calibration check to make sure the instrument is working correctly and then we place it on the main cable going down to the substation PE bar. We've got a reading of 0.069 ohms, so it means this cable is connected. As a matter of interest, we just clipped it on the cable coming from the temporary supply to see what reading this gave us, 0.9 ohms. Happy that the earthing system is intact, the first measurements we want to do are the voltage levels. We're using this Fluke EX meter set to AC voltage. First we check between the PE bar and each phase, getting on the average of 250 volts. And check the neutral voltage as well, just over half a volt. Each phase down to the neutral, again about 250 volts. And finally, between phase and phase, L1 to L2, L1 to L3, and L2 to L3. Happy with the values we've got, we can then move on to the first of the phase rotation testers. Firstly, we use this Martindale tester. As you can see, this is marked up with the old phase colors. The L1 red is equivalent to the brown, the L2 yellow is equivalent to the black, and the L3 blue is equivalent to the grey. The three lights at the top of the meter tell us that each phase is connected. From the test results, we could see that the phase rotation was wrong. So we then moved on to the combined testing using the Metro unit. For this we select single test, U for voltage. We can touch the help button and it will show you how to connect the meter. This for a single phase and the following page for a three phase connection. Happy with the connections? We can now perform the test. We have the options of setting the parameters whether it's going to be a three phase test what kind of earthing system it is, and what the phase sequence should be. In this case, one, two, three. Make sure that the meter leads are connected correctly. The L1 in this case is the brown. The L2 is the blue. And finally, the green lead on L3. We can now select to start the test. We're happy we've done a PE test already. And we can see that the meter is saying it's incorrect phase sequence. It's showing the field as being three, two, one. Let's just check it one more time using our faithful old Martindale tester. Once all the leads are correctly connected, the three top lights light. And in this case, the sequence on the right hand side shows it's red, blue, yellow. This is incorrect, so we'll now send this back for rework to correct the fault before we can release it for commissioning. 